Hey there, this is Jake with Van Dyke Software. If you're connected to a remote host that knows how to display ANSI colors, you can take advantage of SecureCRT support for new ANSI color schemes that were added to SecureCRT in version 8.3. To demonstrate this, I'm connected to a remote host using the Xterm emulation, and I'll have a file I'll open in an editor which knows how to send the ANSI color codes for syntax highlighting. This means keywords in the script code are colored in a way which highlights or emphasizes their meaning. This is how ANSI colors appear as per the default setting in SecureCRT 8.3. If you want to choose a different color scheme, open Session Options and in the Appearance category, choose from the list of color schemes that are available, such as Zenburn. If that color scheme doesn't fit your viewing preferences, choose another color scheme, for example, Chalkboard. If you wish to quickly cycle through all of the available color schemes to see which one you prefer most, you can download a script to perform that function for you. Go to forums.vandyke.com, scroll down to the Scripting Forum, Scroll down to the Script Examples sticky, and then scroll down to the Color Scheme scripting link. There, you'll find an example script which you can download to your system. Once the script file is finished downloading, you can map a button on SecureCRT's button bar to run the script. Right-click and choose New Button. Set the function to Run Script, and browse to the location of the text file you downloaded from the forums. Choose a snazzy name for your button, and even set a uniquely catchy color for it. And there you have it. Click the button to change to the next available color scheme. As you click the button to run the script again and again, the color scheme name will appear in the status bar. When you discover a color scheme you really like, if it happens to be a darker background scheme like this one, you might wonder how it would look if the entire SecureCRT window were also themed in a dark background. Go to the View menu and choose Themes. I'm partial to the Visual Studio 2013 dark theme, so I'll choose that one. At this point, you might desire to modify a color scheme's properties so that the yellow shows up brighter and the background is a little darker. I'll show you how this can be accomplished. First, some foundational information. ANSI color palettes and color schemes are defined, created, and managed in global options. In order to use an ANSI color palette or a color scheme, it must be assigned in the session options configuration for that session. A color scheme can be applied to all current and future sessions as well as for ad hoc connections by assigning a color scheme to the default session. Let's go back to our goal of darkening the background to be closer to black and increasing the brightness of this yellow color. The first step is to open Global Options and browse to the ANSI Color category. This is where all of the ANSI Color palettes are defined. I know that my session is using the Solarized Darkula color scheme, which has a corresponding ANSI Color palette. Rather than making changes to the built-in Solarized Darkula color palette, I'm going to create and use a copy of my own. So I press New to create a new color palette and choose a creative and unique name for my own palette. Because I want to start out with all of the colors from the Solarized Darkula palette, I choose that one on which to base my new colors. Now that I'm working on my own palette copy, I'll change the yellow color to be more vibrant. I'll bring up the brightness for both the normal and the bold versions of the yellow color. To change the background, I will first create a copy of the Solarized Darkula color scheme here in the Global Options Advanced category. Again, I choose a creative and unique name for my own color scheme. And now that I have a copy to work with, I'll set the background color to be a little darker. I'm going to pay attention to my red, green, and blue values here so that I can easily replicate this color later. When I press OK, you'll see the preview area now reflects my new color choice. I want bold to match this background color exactly, so I'll do the same thing for the bold attribute. Notice that my new color scheme is configured with the standard ANSI color palette, in which certain colors just don't appear very well against a black background. So, I'll set the ANSI color palette to be my very own copy that I just created and modified earlier. There's that brighter yellow we just made. When I save my changes, note that my current session doesn't automatically get changed to match the work I did. This is because Global Options is where color scheme and ANSI color palette information is defined, not where it's assigned to be used. That's done in Session Options, in the Appearance category. All I have to do is tell My Session Configuration to use the new color scheme I just created. And there it is. That's all the time we have for this video. Until the next video, stay secure, my friends.